Hey everybody, Chad here at Turner's Warehouse and today we are going to make the Mad Purple Ring. This is a really cool ring. It uses sugar light, amethyst, pink to rust glow, and purple mica. And I think you're really going to like the way this one turns out. Let's make it. Okay, to get started here we've got our new ring box. This is the Mad Purple Ring Box. Comes with a ring core, two very cool stones, some rust to pink, or pink to rust, I should say, glow powder, and some purple mica. And that's so we can mix the mica in with the glow powder and get a cool purple color. We've also included an extra mixing vial here. Uh, you may or may not want it. You may just want to mix it in the, in the tube of glow. That's totally your choice. This is the sugar light, and then we have the amethyst stone as well. So this is going to be similar to the last ring box video. We're going to mix up the mica and glow powder together and then we're going to use the UV resin to put it into the channel. This allows us to tint the color of the, the glow powder to what we want, in this case purple, and still get the glow look without having the, the odd color for what we're after. Now I just mix up uh, about half of what I got here. So you'll always have extra in these ring boxes, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna make another one of these or something different, you can always do that. But I just mix it up uh, to the color I like, make sure it glows, and then I put it in. Now I'm just gonna kinda of explain how this build is gonna go and then I'm gonna let it run so you can watch it. But I'm gonna use UV resin for this build like I do a lot of mine. And I'm going to put the UV resin in. I'm going to put the mica glow powder mix in first on the bottom. I'm going to cure that with the UV light. And then I'm going to go back with the UV resin and put the stones over top. Cure that. And then I'll fill in completely over the top with UV resin and cure that. And then I will turn it on the lathe. Now I'm not going to show you turning and polishing on the lathe on this video because it's kind of repetitive and I do it in all the videos so you you get the picture if not please check out the previous ring box video but those are the steps first step mica and glow mix cure it stones cure it and then the full uh, excuse me the full clear coat and the reason we put the clear at the end over top is because we want that real bright brilliant clear coat to magnify the stones so I'm going to go through the build here. You can watch this. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're going to do these ring boxes uh, every three or four weeks and make something cool so that you can hopefully make something cool. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video.